Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome to Mystical Enlightenment. I'm Nikki, if you're new here, and it is Tarot Tuesday, which means we are in for a tarot reading. This is a collective tarot reading, so it is not personalized specifically towards you. It is a general reading. If you are interested in a personalized reading, please look for my information, which is down below in the description, and you can get um, contact me and we can get together on getting you a personalized reading. So we are using the Winter Weight Santa Helper deck for the last time of the season. Boo! I'm so upset about this one because I absolutely love this deck. So, um, yeah, but it is time to put her away until next year, which is very upsetting to me. But anyway, I'm okay with it. We're going to move on and we'll get back to other decks. <laughs> I'm not sure which one yet. We'll be surprised next week. Whatever calls to me. So I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday, a blessed Yule. We're still in Yule. Or a wonderful Christmas, a relaxing Christmas, not too much family stress. Hopefully when we pull the cards today, we don't have any tower moments going on. Um, 27 years ago today, I had, and my family had a massive tower, uh, moment. We had a house fire, which totally cleansed us of any physical belongings and, um, showed us who our true friends were. So, uh, that was a massive tower moment in our lives. So it's just interesting to think about if the tower card will come up today. So, um... I'm definitely grateful for what I have today after experiencing that. So let's get on with the reading, shall we? All right, you'll notice a deck here that probably you have not seen before. I've had it for quite a while and it's just been sitting there. This is a Star Seeds deck. It came in one of my, um, I wanna say a subscription box. But I'm actually not quite sure if it was a subscription box or if it was a gift. I, I'm really bad. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to use it. I was called to use it along with the tarot cards today. So we're going to be doing that. So let's get into the reading. All right. So let's. Uh, we want to ask our guides, guardians, and angels to join us for this reading. Um, we ask that our ancestors join us, that the... Guardians of the North, South, East, and West, join us. We ask this is a space of positivity, a space of light, and we ask that the messages that we need to hear are sent to us today so that we can hear them and that we are open to hearing them. And that any resistance that we have might be released even but momentarily, so more to be. All right, here we go. So I'm going to put the cards down just for a moment. So we have card number one. Oops. Oh, oh sorry, guys. I know I'm recording. I think you could you could hurt hear that. Um. But anyway. Uh, so, okay, so we are going to put the cards down. We have card number one. Card number two. And card number three. Now, what I've been doing the last couple of weeks has been a little different. Um, I've been putting down a couple of cards, but this week I'm just going to do one. So why don't you take... Oh, that one seems to be want to be there, so we're going to leave him there. Why don't you take a moment, and I'll just put some crystals down to mark the cards. Take a moment and look at the cards and see um, which card resonates with you. And then we will get into the reading. I think with the new mic. 
this might have sounded like a boom and I apologize. Okay, so if you pick this card, which is the Rose Quartz card, you chose the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Mm, there we go, the Ace of Cups. We have a little less glare with this setup, mm, I believe, a little less glare. So the Ace of Cups is all about new beginnings, new feels, feelings overflowing, good things, good feelings. So this is a time of new beginnings for you, a time where things are just going to, you're going to feel fresh, you're going to feel like um, giddy, you know that giddy feeling that you get? You are going to be giddy. You are not going to be able con to control your happiness. This is a very exciting time for you. Um, I really like this time for you. I, I feel like that that giddiness is kind of coming up inside of me right now. It's that, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening feeling that I'm getting. So um, this is good things coming for you. I'm going to draw a seed card to see what seed card might come up for you. Let's see what seed card you go. Um, and the seed card I get is channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. So this fresh new start might have to do with, with um, becoming a healer. Have you been thinking about that? It might have to do with um, where it might have to do with um, a Reiki circle that you belong to or a healing circle that you belong to that you're just super excited about being a part of meeting people through that circle. You just have all these good feelings. You may be healed. You may be the one that's being healed. So there's definitely channeling going on for you. All right, let's look at the next card. If you chose the middle card, you chose the three of wands. So you are looking towards something. You're not quite at a point where you are happy right now. You're looking towards something else. You're kind of in this position right now where you feel like, um, I'm going to put this here. You feel like things could be better. You want more with your life and you're not quite satisfied. So you're looking, you're looking out and wondering what else could be. So you're in this wanting stage or searching stage. So let's see um, what the seed card is for you. The seed card is Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So maybe you're not feeling loved in a situation that you're in. Um, maybe you need to be more loving. Maybe you need to go on a nature hike. Maybe that's what you're searching for. So I'll keep that there. And then finally, if you chose this card or these cards because they jumped out together, the first card is the Queen of Cups, who is Emotions. She has her emotions together. She is one who is very um, emotional. She, she loves with all her heart. She knows what she wants. Um, yeah. So let's see. Oh, and the Queen of Swords. So we have two queens here. So this is definitely somebody who... Okay, the Queen... It's interesting the contradiction between these two. Because the Queen of Swords is somebody who is straightforward, does not mince word, mix words, and will tell you like it is. Whereas the Queen of Cups is tends to um, be more loving and supportive. They're both very um, caring people, but their approach to how they do things is quite different. The Queen of Cups is more caring and delicate, as whereas the Queen of Swords will tell you like it is, and she's no bullshit approach to things. So I find it interesting that they both came um, together in for this pairing of cards. 
So maybe you need to work on um, getting a balance between these two aspects of your personality right now. And the seed card is trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers you seek. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading this week. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you did. Also, if you are a regular of mine, can you please let me know um, if the new video and audio setup was better for you? I got a few new toys for Christmas and I'm just testing them out and want to know if the audio quality, video quality was better. Just let me know in the comments or message me privately, either or. That would be amazing to get some feedback on that. All right, guys, I am going to let you go for now. I hope to see you all on Thursday for the Angel Card Readings. Love you all. Bright blessings. Be well. <sighs> Melanie. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on a second. I apologize. <laughs>